trying to pick between Whistler and Pemberton is it's like trying to choose between your children. I mean, in both settings, you're dropped right into the middle of the, the coast range. It's one of the most spectacular mountain ranges in the world. It's, I mean, people compare it to the Himalayas for its ruggedness and, and vertical relief. You're never going to run out of subjects to photograph, whether it's the landscape itself or people, people in, enjoying the landscape. It's inspirational and it's, it's humbling. As a, as a photographer, inspirational because it's, you know, a, a never-ending canvas to work with. The snow this year has just been phenomenal. Um, it's one of the snowiest years in Whistler's history, and I mean, the Duffy's just a little colder, a little drier. I mean, the year it is in April, and we're still riding POW as if it's January. Flipboarding is really becoming a, a lot more of a, a viable way for snowboarders to get into the backcountry. We don't have to become skiers anymore if we want to go out and go backcountry touring. One thing that's always got to be on your mind when you're out in the backcountry is you are not in charge. You can watch the weather all you want, but weather changes so fast in these mountains and before you know it you're just clawing your way up some ridge in a blizzard. It's, it's awesome being able just to go out there and just find angles you know and just throw the music on and friend calls you up says he's rolling through you know so tell him where you're at tell him what you're shooting and you know they'll come flying through every once in a while get a picture of him. It, it's all friends like I would not have got into this if it wasn't for me snowboarding with my friends all the time and you know, it's, that's where it all started. Pipe's good. I've, I've always wanted to shoot, and, like do a full photo shoot in a pipe and yeah, shooting with these boys was, was sick. It was good to finally get together with some guys that shred pipe and, and actually do a full sesh on it. Uh, one of the coolest things about shooting in the park is that once you're done and got the banger and put the camera bag down and go rip some hit runs. When you're mobbing hit run with a bunch of homies, it's like rolling through with like an army of snowboarders. It's, it's really freaking addicting. You know, I came here just to do a summer. You know, story of everyone's life here. You come here thinking you're just gonna do a little bit and get back and go to the real world and you know, become a normal person. But once you're here, it just gets you. I don't know, I was just a shit disturbing kid from East Van. This year, it's been a lot of sort of Whistler, DIY, just get it done. There's no trick list, there's no pressure, there's no competition, it's just you and your buddies and your backyard. Over the years, it seems that Whistler has kind of singled out certain spots that are frequented by snowboarders in the springtime and they bring their quarry peas and their PVCs and all of that and they just build their own parks. I find that when you go to a spot, you're trying to find the photograph, but 
what you start out with is a snowboarder. Every year you, you watch the videos and you pick up magazines and the level of, of writing and production and the quality of, of the whole thing is just so huge and you think there's no way that can get any better. And the next year you, you know pick up the next magazine or watch the next video and it's somehow that it gets better and better every year. And so being some relatively unknown crew that's kind of trying to come up in this, in Whistler and in in the mecca of all of this that's happening around you, it's it's super intimidating, and it's like, how are we ever going to create a product that's that, that compares to anything that these guys are doing? It's it's like a larger than life sort of scenario. Come out here, and it's like, all of a sudden you're in the playground, and everything you need is in your backyard, and so whatever you want to shoot, you can find it, and so you're all of a sudden your eyes open up to all these extra possibilities that you never considered before.